Welcome to the KM Builders Remodeling and Design Show. I'm Keith, along with Morgan. Hello, everybody. And we're glad to be with you this Saturday. And we are going to be talking about a very interesting subject about how to avoid mistakes on a high-end kitchen remodel. And so we're, we'll look forward to discussing those with you. And before we get started, Morgan has a remodeling safe tip of the week. So my remodeling safe tip is something that I think is really cool that we do. So most remodelers will do some type of dust barrier wall. It's not possible to do a remodel, I think, without some type of dust barrier. Well, our walls, as we've talked about before, are actual walls. And so because we have actual walls with framing in them, we can create actual doors. Um, some remodelers, their doors are just a zipper, right, in the plastic, but we choose to put an actual exterior quality door with weather stripping, so that way we can enter easily, we're not breaking the zipper, we're not breaking the wall, and a perk for the client is that it has a lock on it. So they can literally lock us in to the work zone while we're working if they need to leave or if um, they aren't home and we're not scheduled, they can lock that up and make sure no one can come in. And it's just a safe thing that they can feel comfortable while they're remodeling and that they don't have to worry about people roaming their house, which we wouldn't anyways, but it's just a feel good measure. Yeah, I like that. And the fact that those doors have seals on them and that um, the barriers are not transparent, they're so you can you can't see through them is mm -hmm. also nice. They feel private. Like yeah. I just went to a client last week and they have little kids and they're working from home. The kids are homeschooling from home right now because of everything. And I just thought about it. If they are able to lock that door, they don't have to worry about their children entering in the work zone as yep. well, which is dangerous. That's exactly right. It's 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 even safe for keeping keeping people out where they shouldn't be mm -hmm. on not, accident. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And and also I'll mention that <clears throat> most of the times we don't use plastic, but if we do, it'd be really thick. So it'd be hard to get through mm -hmm. uh, for cats, dogs, children, etc. And uh, we use usually a re nylon reinforced Tyvek type material that is a house wrap that is much more durable and cannot be just cut through easily. Yeah. Um, you won't walk through this stuff accidentally, that's for sure. <laughs> Yeah. And, and it breathes so it doesn't have condensation and uh, and, and it still keeps out the dust, dust extremely well. Mm -hmm. Thank you for that remodeling safe tip of the week. And believe it or not, that's going to be a bigger factor than you might think. Oh, yeah. yeah so you let's... just did it in your house and you tried oh, yeah. to do it without and realized, ooh. Yeah, even just little cuts. You just want to go ahead and get those barriers up. Yep. You only may make in a few cuts or grinding or chipping or whatever you got to get it up quick <laughs> there's no avoiding it you know? yeah dad learned the hard way <laughs> but again there's good ways and bad ways to do it so let's get into our subject of the main mistakes to avoid in a high-end kitchen remodel what's the first one morgan that when you're doing a high-end kitchen remodel you don't want to just set, select traditional boring appliances yeah, and you might even add another word to traditional and boring, and that might be mid-range or low-end. Mm -hmm. um, you know, typical would be another word. Yeah. Another word, you might have had the typical builder-grade appliances. Mm -hmm. That would be another adjective, builder-grade. Mm -hmm. But when you have the kitchen that you're the last kitchen you want in that home, or we might add the kitchen that uh, you really want to pop if you do so, you, you should go ahead and spend more on those. Those appliances, those, those appliances. make a big difference. I mean, and, and it can be something as simple as a, uh, you know, not getting a freestanding range, getting a slide-in range, which doesn't have a back on it. I know we were recently at, at our, at my parents' home, your grandparents, mm -hmm. and you were cooking on, yeah. the, on the brand new kitchen there. Yep. Tell us what you experienced and how much you appreciated it. Well, I didn't know that those old ones were technically freestanding and that's why they put the knobs in the back but I've always just hated that because you can burn yourself so easily by reaching over a, a boiling, boiling pot. pot a hot pot mm -hmm. and you're trying to adjust the temperature or even control the oven all of those things are on a backsplash and it takes away from your beautiful backsplash 
So having those be right in front of you, in front of the burners, is so beautiful. One, I think it's beautiful because it makes your backsplash look so much better and prettier and it doesn't break it up, but it's also safe. It's so much safer. Right. So if you have not had upgraded appliances in your home, you know, you want to do some shopping for and look what's out on the market. <clears throat> I mean, just the simmer, the little simmer uh, burner was just, is an incredible upgrade to have. Mm -hmm. And you were simmering, uh, what was it, pasta? Yeah. I mean, um, rigatoni was what I was making. I yeah. don't know what I was simmering. Yeah, it was the sauce. Butter? It was the sauce. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And that kept it at such a low temperature instead of burning the sauce. Mm -hmm. Never had to worry about it burning. Never. So if just a couple of little features on them, and you don't have to spend an arm and a leg to get upgraded features on appliances these days. Not only do they function so much better, but they look so much better. You could say eye-catching. Mm -hmm. uh, just the example of a, of a slide-in range that has no back on it allows for a much more beautiful backsplash. Mm-hmm. So. But also, an, a big thing that I think a lot of people don't realize is that they make appliances now that match your cabinets, that match your style. So we're doing a remodel in the Castroville area, and those appliances are a part of the kitchen. They exactly. were not an afterthought. They are black with gold hardware. Microwave dishwasher range, I mean, it is stunning. It is. It really is. And so going that extra level just made that kitchen look a hundred times more high end and oh, beautiful. Very high end. And mm -hmm. so when you're going high end or even mid range, you might even say, um, there's a lot of upgrades that can be done at different levels and don't. The choices are there. Yeah. So, so make sure you get your, your, your designer involved mm -hmm. to see what's available. And of course, on the high-end kitchens, you definitely want uh, an experienced high-end designer and that we would we would definitely make an arrangement for you to have that high-end feel, that high-end design. And you're, you're not gonna regret it once you, once you get in to see what's really out there. Mm -hmm. Now, again, prices vary hugely, so you need someone who can navigate that for you and see where your budget will go on some of these eye-catching, stunning, and really feature-filled new appliances. But don't skimp on the appliances. Don't just go with what you know about appliances. Make sure you get an education first. And I'd recommend the same thing if you're looking for a new vehicle. <laughs> if, you'd, uh, if you want a new vehicle, a truck or a car, uh, get an education like I did. Take your time, and the best place I could recommend to get an education on a vehicle would be at Ford or Bernie. Uh, truck it, Ford Trucks, F, the F-Series, is the leader in the industry by far. There's not even a close second. But if you wanna know more about which one of the Ford, by, Ford models are available, go to FordOfBernie.com, ask for my friend Justin Kutcher. He's a great salesman there, and he's young, but he's knowledgeable. And call him at 210-920-3023 I'll be doing my concierge service there in about a week. And uh, so look them up at FordandBernie.com. And we'll be right back to the KM Builders Remodeling and Design Show. Welcome back to the KM Builders Remodeling and Design Show. I'm Keith along with Morgan. Hello, everybody. And we want to talk about our, um, our, our topic <laughs> want to want to get to that we're talking about right now it has to do with not making mistakes and particularly on high-end kitchens i want to i want to just make sure that you also know about a wonderful sponsor expel x-p-e-l dot com and you want to look them up for automotive paint protective and window tinting and even burglary prevention window films and solar heat gain uh, rejecting window films. So call Eric at 430-7712. 430-7712. And let's get right into a client testimonial. testimonial that you had for us. Yes. So <clears throat> we have a testimonial from Mr. Ellie and he says, all of the people who worked on my project were professional and dedicated to quality. I am extremely pleased with the finished product. 
I highly recommend KM Builders for any project you may be considering. Thank you for that, Morgan. And thank you, Mr. Ellie. What a great <laughs> plan. And that's just what we expect to get every week. Um, text messages, emails, um, even posts on our on our uh, social media. Mm -hmm. I've got some good ones that I saw this week too coming up. Okay, so let's talk about another thing you don't want to make a mistake on a high-end kitchen. Uh, don't think too small. So as you review the layout of your new kitchen, don't settle for just good enough. Mm -hmm. Uh, why not Morgan? Well, I think a lot of people think, oh, this will be just fine. Um, I don't need that much space, but what happens? We grow, you know, our families grow. We gain more friends. We typically don't go backwards in our lives. We're going forward. So that island that you thought would be fine with just a two, three seater, four seater person island, is not going to cut it after a while. And so you can do oversized things in your kitchen. You can, um, for instance, we did a, a remodel in um, a Lotus area and we added space. We only added how much space? A feet, like a foot back or two feet back? A two foot, yeah. Oh, it was a huge transformation in the space that they were able to get. And then we did an island at the Brooklyn Island do you remember how large that island was? Uh, but it was 10 feet. <laughs> yeah, at least, uh -huh. if not more. I think it yeah. was more than that. And I mean, but they use every single square foot of that island. And, and speaking of islands, you said you don't go backwards. Islands are getting bigger and bigger. Mm -hmm. And so it, whenever you think about what's larger than what you have, um, you know, don't just judge it by what you had before. You might not even had an island. Yeah. But islands are getting more and more popular because they're taking the place of breakfast tables. Breakfast tables. Yep. So when you when you really want to open up, and you really want to create a, a fun open environment where people can be closer to the kitchen, you need big islands. So oh, those yeah. islands are used for two things: prepping and serving and eating. Yeah. And now even two islands are coming into the picture more often. Oh, we've had multiple clients yeah. do two islands That's and right. they love them. That's right. So so bigger is better, especially when it comes to islands. Mm -hmm. And uh, and don't think that you need to go real small. Think, think outside the box on this. The kitchen's the heart and the hub of the home. The last thing you want to do is have regrets about not having enough space to let people get closer to the kitchen or be included in it, but you also got to have that room to prepare and cook while that's it happening. It still needs to be functional. Yeah, and, and, and you can have both if you make that island deep enough mm -hmm. uh, because you get separation between the people on the other side. If you make it just going by only by what looks good maybe on to you from your past experience, it's not going to function as well. And people are going to feel like, uh, that's a little too close to me or you're not going to want to use it because you're getting too close to them. Yep. So bigger is better when it comes to islands and kitchens. The entire kitchen needs to be just large yeah, for a high-end kitchen. Exactly. <laughs> and and high-end kitchens, really high-end kitchens are huge. Mm -hmm. And we've had the privilege to work on many. Mm -hmm. Another one that we could we could talk about would be, don't skip the butler's pantry. Um, a butler's pantry sounds very outdated, but it's not. You know, we may not all have. Typically, we don't have a butler, but a butler's pantry is it's more just than just for a butler. Uh -huh. Exactly. Um, I've seen butler's pantries transform into places where you store your appliances, you keep your mixer, you keep your coffee maker, all of those things. So that makes your kitchen just be stunning. It takes all of the clutter out of your kitchen and you have a workable, functional, extra room that's like a little mini prep room yeah. in that butler's That's kitchen. a great idea for butlers prepping up mm -hmm. and you can even do some decorative um, cakes and things and set yeah. them aside and then have a place. It's Bring a landing, out. it's kind of a, a like landing, you said, zone. landing zone, prep area mm -hmm. and storage, of course. Uh, and you can make it look very beautiful if it's oh, going to be exposed, mm -hmm. which many of them are. Or they're they're a um, they're they're actually in part of the corridor to get to the kitchen on mm -hmm. one of the backside usually. Yep. So this this is how you're going to keep 
your be, kitchen. Well, you're going to be be the, the host with the most is, <laughs> if you if you have your butler's pantry. Yes. And everything is easier to use. And your next party planning is so easy because you, you have everything that you didn't have room to keep before. Exactly. And you said, well, I never hardly use this. Well, you get rid of it. And as much as people like clutter-free and so forth, we still want to be conservative. Part of us wants to be conservative and not throw things away. Yes. And so those things that you use once a year for Thanksgiving, Christmas, for those big functions, you now have a space for them. That's right. And so you you don't have to throw away, if you're redesigning your kitchen anyway, why not make a space for it? Mm -hmm. Because it's different if you're trying to say, well, I, you know, I don't have the room for it in my current kitchen. Yeah. But, but don't think that way when you're building your new kitchen because you might before. have that space now. Mm -hmm. You can probably have it bigger is better in this case also. <laughs> yes. All right, so so we're gonna get into a, an, uh, our fourth point on on um, not, you know, mistakes to avoid in a high-end kitchen. And I know you like this one, I like this one a lot oh, too. Oh, that's just your favorite, I think. No, that's not my favorite. Oh, the pot pot is your favorite, huh? No, the dishwasher. Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh -huh. So let's let's hit the let's hit this one first though. The, the, don't forget the second or sink. Or even third. Or even the third sink, right. Mm -hmm. So tell me why you think that one's so important and how much you've seen. Because you need a sink for cooking and you also need a sink for dishes. Mm -hmm. for dirty That's so right. a small sink for cooking is really helpful to rinse off what you need to fill your dishes you know um your pots i mean and it's a landing zone for the stuff you're cooking mm -hmm. right i don't cook much like you do but uh, i can just see that i'd want a place to put that in mm -hmm. and soak it and maybe and maybe i'm going to reuse that dish thawing things you know oh, good point yeah. yeah yeah i've used the sink a lot for that yeah <laughs> i know my favorite thing to do with a sink is to prep all of my food deep inside it. And I like a deep sink, put it inside the sink, season it all up, and it doesn't get anywhere. Yep. If you do it it's on a really countertop, seasons actually go everywhere. Yeah. Um, like, you know, salt, pepper, other types all of your spices. spices. They go everywhere. So I've always done it deep and inside a deep sink. And so there's another great reason to have an extra sink. Like you said, even a third sink. So we're gonna go ahead and, and talk more about that and other points in just a minute, but it's time to take a break. And we wanna mention, if you want your truck to look like my truck, then go to Maximum Altitude. Talk to Joy Maximus at MaximumAltitude.com or call 655-0184. That's MaximumAltitude.com. And we'll be right back to the KM Builders Remodeling and Design Show. Welcome back to the KM Builders Remodeling and Design Show. I'm Keith, along with Morgan. Hello, everybody. And we're glad to be there for you this Saturday, and we hope we're you're enjoying our show on high-end kitchens mm -hmm. and mistakes to avoid. But let's get started with our sponsor. This is The Maids. You want to have a high-end kitchen, but you need to keep that high-end kitchen clean. So give our friends The Maids a call at 210-822-2526. So that way you can keep your beautiful kitchen and house clean just like dad and I do and our grandpa. And we just love the maids. You can look them up at www.maids.com slash 211. Thank you, Morgan. And so let's get right into our subject of mistakes to avoid in a high-end kitchen. Which ones have we covered already? Just to recap. We have done don't select traditional appliances. Don't think too small. Don't skip the butler's pantry. Don't forget the second or third sink. And now we're on our fifth one. Dad's favorite, don't miss the second dishwasher. <laughs> That's right. Now, now you, for a couple of reasons, one <laughs> of them is, is you got a lot of dishes when you do a big party. Yes. When you're hosting, yeah. you need dishwasher space. Mm -hmm. One is not going to cut it. And they look so built in and so appliance matching. If you want them to build, be built in to where they match the cabinets, that can be done. Yeah, they have cabinet match, front. They can be stylish with the colorful, right. so you don't have to worry about it taking away from the look of your kitchen. And that's right. And even if you are doing a big island, you may not be seen at all. Mm -hmm. You know, if you do what we said earlier, which was uh, extra sinks, mm -hmm. you might have one here. You might want one over there. You might have one in your butler's pantry. That's right. You can put appliances in a butler's pantry. No that's problem. Right. That's right. And so the reason I believe in the second dishwasher is for just for everyday use. 
Yeah, dad Everyday wants use. I hate how much you want. <laughs> I hate taking dishes out of a dishwasher to put them into the cabinets that you're just gonna pull right back out. That is so funny. He wants a dishwasher to remain fully loaded so that you use that dishwasher as a place to go get your clean dishes and you don't empty the dishwasher. So what you ever. do is you take oh. it out of one dishwasher. Rinse so, it off, put it in the next dishwasher, <laughs> then that one becomes loaded, and you switch it back, and you go back, back to the other forth. one. I mean, Sounds like a lazy problem to it, me. It, to me, it's an efficiency <laughs> thing. And there are people like me who like to be efficient. Yes, very and, true. And so, but but even if that's not the reason that you like... Um, double I, dishwasher. You would like a double dishwasher in a large kitchen. Yes. Because you want the extra space. Mm -hmm. Or if you have a lot of kids, like I know our friend Justin, they have four kids. They run the dishwasher uh, twice a day. Mm -hmm. uh, I think it sounds like they need two dishwashers. Yeah, Justin <laughs> said he'd love a second dishwasher yeah. too. So they'll be doing that, I'm sure, mm -hmm. when they remodel. Yep. And so that that is just uh, something to think about. It shows you think outside of the box. And it's convenient. It's efficient. And I like efficiency. Mm-hmm. All right, so what's number six? Uh, our sixth point on not skipping or it making a mistake. <laughs> don't delete the pot filler faucet. Oh, absolutely. Um, Have you ever been in the kitchen and filled up a pot of hot water that the sink was far away? Oh, pain in the butt. Yeah. And it's also not good for older fa family members to be lifting that heavy pot of water across the kitchen yeah it can be it can be very very unsafe to mm -hmm. do that so yeah. what is um, if you've never had a pot filler you You're will be out. you will be spoiled <laughs> if you get if you don't have that pot filler you'll never know what you've been missing until you have an accident the other thing is is you can spill water on the stove get into the burners get into the electronics it's not it's not good for the for the uh, area that you're working in for a, buy, a really nice appliance, you would not want to do that. Mm -hmm. And so, not to mention it being unsafe, it can also be damaging to an appliance. And you, also, they're beautiful. Pot fillers add to the backsplash of the kitchen. They're not just like normal faucets. They have current, um, pivoting arms that pull out so they can reach your entire stove. Um, they match just your style perfectly. Yeah. They, it really does add to the beauty and it can of be your like kitchen. The, it can really be the coolest looking uh, fixture in your yep. in your home. Mm -hmm. It's because they make so many new different styles now that, that actually you know don't even look like the traditional ones. They have the modern ones that are just really, really cool. We'll look up pot fillers and you will see that there's a whole new world out there mm -hmm. of something that could be a statement in your home. Yeah, and it's not something that you would think that would be a statement because it's just kind of an afterthought, but that's why we wanted to mention it in these things because we don't want our clients and our friends to, after they've spent all this time and money building their perfect kitchen to realize that was an option. I didn't exactly. even know about that. That's the most frustrating part. I agree. So, <laughs> so what's our next one to avoid in a high end kitchen? Not to sacrifice in slim, simplicity. What do you mean by that? Well, we don't want you to just choose the simple things because you're worried about resale value. Or, well, I don't know if people will like this. Do what you want. Add in textures. Add fixtures. Add color. And those things will be a huge difference it shows a professionally designed kitchen versus a boring kitchen <laughs> that's right and sometimes you just look at a product like by itself and say do i like this one or don't like this one mm -hmm. um simplicity can mean getting too simple and it can also mean getting too complicated yes um and and so there really does take a designer to help with that but but having you, the right balance between you them. want balance that's right mm -hmm. you want balance of looking at this product or this appliance or this this uh, backsplash like you were saying this fixture light fixture you want to look at it from both viewpoints not just does it work with it does it does it look great by itself mm -hmm. but can i compliment can i accent can i create a little bit of focal point mm -hmm. in a kitchen that's the same true when we do a living room a room addition, a bathroom, you want some focal points 
And sometimes we can get to where everything has to look the same, and that is not that is not necessary. Yes. On the other hand, getting too varied to where it's confusing means you means you don't have enough simplicity. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I was thinking about that client that we keep coming back to in Castroville. Their cabinets are not an over the top cabinet. They also didn't choose an over the top color in their backsplash. But like we said before, their appliances are works of art. And so they did a very intricate design in how they laid the tile backsplash, but it was a white creamy mm -hmm. backsplash. So very beautifully designed to highlight the kitchen and, and not take away. And, and you can do a monochromatic look mm -hmm. where, where it is just one, one look. It's a very modern look in most cases where you're keeping, the, keeping all the colors very close and maybe just two colors. And that can be a very beautiful look too, but that's where professional designs come in. So mm -hmm. simplicity is definitely something you want to keep in mind in your high-end kitchens. Mm -hmm. And uh, when it comes to lighting, elite lighting designs is the one that you want to refer to if you're doing outdoor or even holiday lighting. Mm -hmm. They are the ones that you want to talk to. They've done lighting at my home that is incredible. Look at the website and look at their website at EliteLightingDesigns.com or call them at 210-573-0594. That's 573-0594 or EliteLightingDesigns.com. And we'll be right back to the KM Builders Remodeling and Design Show. Welcome back to the KM Builders Remodeling and Design Show. We are covering our subject of mistakes to avoid in a high-end kitchen remodel. We've got just a few more moments, but I wanna mention my friends at BioGreen. Uh, Joe Caccino just did a wonderful job consulting with me and getting my lawn looking like the best in the neighborhood. And now is a great time to do it in the fall because that's where your, your, your grasses and your plants take in the nutrients that are given to them through BioGreen, the micronutrients uh, with synthetics and natural, organic, and it takes them and stores them during the winter so that when the spring comes, they already have their energy stored and they produce way better. And you want to take advantage of that growing season in the spring, but you can't really do it if it hasn't stored that energy over the winter. So do it now while they're still absorbing this. Call them at 210-421-9522 and you'll have a beautiful lawn like I did. It's a great transformation. Look them up at biogreensa.com. So we are talking about these mistakes to avoid, and we've covered quite a few of them. I know the first one was don't select just standard appliances. Go extra on that. Mm -hmm. Go and think outside the box and see what's really available. Don't think too small. Bigger is better in, uh, in kitchens these days, and especially islands. Size-wise. Mm -hmm. Next one was... Don't skip the butler's pantry. Right, and uh, you, if you've got room, we highly recommend that storage area, that beautiful prep area. And the third, fourth one we talked about was don't forget the second or even the third sink. Uh, the, both men, women, both, both sides of the families are gonna love having more sinks to prep and to cook, to clean while cooking, and to have one for dirty dishes, and to even prep meats and so forth in a, in a big deep sink. I know that's what I like to use it for. <laughs> And the other one? Don't miss the second dishwasher. Yeah, second dishwashers can be placed anywhere, but what a difference it can make for convenience and for efficiency. Don't so, delete the pot filler faucet. That's the sixth one. Yeah, you said you said it they're they're beautiful these days and you're exactly mm -hmm. right. So so don't don't avoid putting that in there. You don't won't forget regret about it. it. You won't regret it if you do it, and you'll regret it if you don't. Mm -hmm. And it's also a safety feature. As Morgan pointed out. Yeah. The last one you talked about was simplicity. Mm -hmm. Keeping things simple, not getting too complicated is usually a safe way to go. So that's a mistake that some people make on high-end kitchens. They just got everything going on yeah. and you don't want that. But although there can be some stunning attention-grabbing areas, you want to be sure to have that balance. Mm -hmm. So the eighth point is don't overlook in the small details. Yeah, don't overlook the, give us a, an example of that. So some things like when you're designing your kitchen, you think of the main things, the cabinets, the countertops, the backsplashes, the appliances. 
Well, you've got these gorgeous cabinets that you picked out. Now, it's like the putting the eyeshadow on or the lipstick. You need to pick the perfect hardware, the knobs, the drawer pulls that are gonna go with the style of the kitchen. You don't need to do basic, you know, black little dots. <laughs> you can make them beautiful. I mean, even anthropology and stores like that have hardware that you can select for your cabinets. They can be little pieces of works of art or they can be very modern. I'll call them conversation pieces too. For sure. Put that little extra in there. So what if you spend an extra 20 bucks per, per hardware? Those are, they make a huge difference. Yeah. I see that, to me, that is the tell that you had a professional help you with design and that you have a true high-end kitchen. Yeah, and some of them are jewels. Literally mm -hmm. look like jewels. Yes, and, remember at Cabiz, we saw mm -hmm. actual jewels for hardware. Yeah. And then you go, you can spend a, a considerable amount of money, but these are stunning, like you said, accent pieces that uh, are not to be forgotten. Mm -hmm. Do not overlook them. The These other, small details. The other big thing that shouldn't be forgotten is grout. Right. Grout makes or breaks your backsplash. I would agree with that 100%. That's a very good point. So be real particular about these things and maybe mock-ups are needed for mm -hmm. you to see. We recommend that, do a mock-up of it, put these together and see how they're looking. And don't be afraid to, to take your time yeah. and pause on this. That's why planning a kitchen is a, is a process to put in all these details. And last but not least, you you don't wanna make the mistake of not hiring a professional designer. This is, this is probably the biggest thing out of everything that we've talked about. All of the other things can happen if you have a professional designer. They will make sure that none of these things are forgotten or at least brought to your attention. Right, so our, mm -hmm. our interior designers have a degree in interior design and they are just really, really experienced at helping you come up with a design for your high-end kitchen. If you're gonna do it, you need a designer. KM Builders has a four-person design team uh, and we have different groups of these four persons, but usually every project has a four-person design team assigned to it. Mm -hmm. And so I go out and meet you and do a consultation, but that's going to have a kitchen designer, an architectural designer, I'm, I'm sorry, an interior designer, an architectural designer and a cabinet designer, three designers plus a design consultant mm -hmm. that that will always be available to conspire and to fuse all of the things they're hearing from you. They and, guide you. Yeah, and guide you through this along with just lots of selections and ideas to see which ones work best for you and your family. Mm -hmm. And no one person has all the ideas. That's why we put together a four-person design team for every high-end kitchen that we do, and even kitchens that are not so high-end. Mm -hmm. So don't don't make the mistake of hiring someone who says that uh, they can they can build your kitchen. Well, of course they can build your a kitchen, but is it the kitchen that you really wanted? Mm -hmm. Is it the kitchen that will that will actually great add great resale to your home if you sell it, and more importantly, just thrill you and all of your guests when they come in. It has to come together cohesively and aesthetically and functionally. So don't take for less, don't take less than a degree in desi designers uh, or full-time people who do that all the time. Not people who double as a, as a draftsman or, a, or maybe they've done some building and they want to try to design your kitchen or they've done it on the side for their friends that's not what we're talking about here. We're talking about people who go to school, go to classes, keep up certifications, and work on kitchens all the time. Mm -hmm. So the number one tip we give you is, is don't sh cut yourself short without a designer. And you can look us up at kmbuilders.com. I'll start the consultation, show you what's available, and you can give us a call at 210-680-5626. Or again, look us up at kmbuilders.com where we have designed the experience so you can experience the design.